3D Ghostbusters Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created this partially 3D, partially encapsulated Ghostbusters logo nail art design with the ghost that's kind of popping out of the nail so he's partially encapsulated and partially on top on the surface in 3D. So it's really cool and I hope you like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So on my nail, I'm going to first add that glittery red that goes underneath so that when you flip the nail over, it's got kind of a Louboutin effect and you have that gorgeous red underneath. So I'm going to take a bead of clear acrylic and dunk it in some red glitter and then just apply that to the tip area. You don't have to go all the way up on your cuticle because that won't be seen anyway. And then add a very thin layer of black acrylic over that and covering up all that red glitter. So now I'm going to be sculpting my prohibition sign, so that circle with the line going through it. And I'm going to start by doing just the top section. I'm going to place a bead down and then with my brush manipulate it into that half circle shape. And then I'm going to go through and basically repeat the exact same steps but doing the bottom half of my circle. And for this part, I would definitely recommend working in segments, not trying to do the entire circle in one bead because it'll probably set before you have a chance to finish it. And then you'll have to file it off and start over and it's a whole process. And so once, once you have that and you're pretty happy with it, then you're going to want to add that line that goes through it at an angle and you want the line to be lower on the left side and higher on the right side. So now I'm going to add some black glitter. Um, so I dip a bead of clear acrylic into black glitter and I'm just going to apply that around my circle but not within it. And so that way your whole nail doesn't get super thick because if you did that and then put the red circle on top of it, that's all these compounding layers that are just going to make your nail super thick in the end. But if you do it this way, then there's none of that extra acrylic underneath the red circle and you're actually keeping the nail thinner. So now with white acrylic, I'm going to begin filling in with my ghost and making him um, like like he's popping out. So I'm not doing the entire ghost at this point because some of the things are going to be sculpted on the surface of the nail at the end. So I'm just going to do the parts that are actually within the prohibition sign. So it's going to be like his tummy and his shoulders a little bit. And then I'm going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic, making sure I press it into all of those spaces that might be there, like within the sign and around it just a little bit and making sure the nail is nice and smooth. And now I'm going to be filing it with a 180 grit file, but be careful you don't fly, file through that layer of clear acrylic into the red or into the, that black glitter especially, because if you file through the black glitter, you're going to end up with silver glitter and that's not as good. And I'm going to buff it with a 240 grit padded buffer, and now we're to the point where we're adding the 3D stuff on top, which is the fun part. So I'm going to begin with adding his head, and then adding that little bit of ghostly material that comes off of his head like a little ponytail. And just keep adjusting it just like so until you're satisfied or until it sets whatever comes first and then I'm going to be adding his two arms and hands and so when you're doing his hands you want to make sure that your bead of acrylic is a little wetter than you would normally use for doing 3d art because you're going to need to pull those fingers out and if the acrylic is too stiff it's just going to kind of crumble it's not going to stretch and pull the way you need it to. So make sure that your acrylic is wet enough that it has the right um, thickness to pull the way you need it to. Yeah. And then I'm going to be adding his other arm and his other hand. And it's basically the exact same thing. So make sure your acrylic is a little bit on the wet side just so that it, it morphs easily and looks right. And now I'm going to be highlighting my ghosty with some white paint. White paint is a little bit brighter of a white than white acrylic. And so your white acrylic is going to actually look like a shadow, which makes this whole thing look really nice in the end when you highlight it with some white. So just go over the really prominent areas like part of his face and then that little ghostly ponytail and his arm and his hand and then a little bit on his chest and his other hand. And just a couple lines on his tummy. So I'm going to add his facial features with some black. I'm going to start with his eyes, add his eyebrows his nose, his mouth, and lastly, we're going to give him his chin. And so now I'm going to apply gel sealer pretty much around my ghost. I want it really in that black background. I don't need it actually over my ghost at all or over the red necessarily. If some gets on there, oh well. And then cure it and apply a layer matte top coat over your ghost and over that prohibition sign in the center. 
and you're all set. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!